Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechak Wadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, that we will peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and a Baba Ball. Back at it with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham El Shai, Lord, whose video was edifying. And this is just a quick testimony that I have to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham El Shai. Lord, it uh, exhorts you, brothers, and boost your faith. And so, to kind of give you the background, um, basically, I was uh, about to get another job, about to start up this uh, another job, if you will. And, um, you know, it's through the spirit, too. But anyways, I was about to start up this another job, and I ended up getting sick, like, right before the grand opening, like, the day... Like the week before the grand opening, you know, or the week of the grand opening, if you will. So I was supposed to start working, I believe, on a Saturday. So, um, you know, I told the guy because I was expecting to feel better before that Saturday. So I told the guy like the night of Friday, you know, that I was sick. You know what I'm saying? And I truly was. I, I truly was, um, you know, ill, if you will, physically. Okay. And so, you know, the, the manager, he's an eater, Mike, you know what I mean? So nevertheless, you know, you already know how that goes. So he just said, yes, I understand. That's all he said, right? And then, you know, next thing you know, he sends out a message, like a group message to the coworkers. He's saying, um, basically, um, what do you say? He said, you know, let me know what shift you want to be on. I'm making the schedule. Let me know what shift you want to be on, you, if, either in the mornings or in the uh in the daytime or slacky in the mornings or like in the nighttime like towards later on in the daytime whatever and i messaged him later on that day i messaged him to put me in for the morning shifts you know and so nevertheless he replies back like i think a day later with just a thumbs up you know what i mean i'm just like you know what the hell is this dude's problem like you know what i'm saying i'm i'm sick like you know what i mean so you know if in the kingdom to come you know, if Esau's ass is stick, his ass is still working on my plantation. All right. And that's for sure, for sure. But <laughs> nevertheless, all right, to not switch gears too much, you know, it's like these devils really have no mercy, man. You know, these devils truly have no mercy and they don't want to see Jake uh, do well anyways. You know what I mean? So he just replied back with a thumbs up, whatever. So. You know, finally, when I started to feel better, which is actually that's another testimony too. I had, the, you know, I asked the brothers of, of my camp to, you know, anoint me and pray over me. All right. Because, um, you know, I, I believe I might have caught the coronavirus, maybe. But, you know, it might have just been chastisement of the Lord, Lord, trying my faith. But what it was for me was I had a cough, like a dry cough, and I couldn't smell or taste, you know. But I told the brothers about it, you know, ended up the brothers, um, like we had camp that week, told the brothers about it, you know, after camp, the brothers anointed me and prayed over me. And, you know, that same night, I started to get my smell and my taste back. And then now moving on forward to this day, which probably that was um, probably about uh, a week ago when that happened, you know, but either a week or two, uh, probably a week ago. And so. Um, you know, my, I had bills to pay moving forward. Oh, let me go back real quick. So like, you, you know, I'm just speaking through the spirit, but the brothers anointed me, prayed over me same night. I got my smell and my taste back and moving forward today. It just kept increasing and increasing and increasing until now where I can smell and I could taste, you know, I'm able to smell and taste again. So the water, how about smell shot? All right, that's why in the book of James it says, if any of you sick, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him and anoint him in the name of the Lord. All right, and that's exactly what brothers did. They prayed over me and anointed me in the name of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Okay, Yahweh is the, is the true name of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, Yahweh meaning he is or he exists, and Yahweh Shai meaning he saves, he delivers. All right, but nevertheless, moving forward. So, basically, you know, at this point, it's kind of like on edge about what my job situation is going to be, you know, because 
I didn't really know what 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 I'm about to do as far as the job situation because, you know, my manager, he's not replying back to me when I messaged him and I told him, you know, that I'm ready to work, that I'm feeling better and I'm ready to work. So he's not replying back to me. Days go by and, you know, a brother in the camp, he put me on to a, a job that he's doing. And, um, you know, I sent him in my resume or whatever. And a couple of days went by, you know, I didn't hear back anything from you know the job that the brother put me on and so you know um it just yesterday i seen how i had bills to pay you know i had bills coming up that i needed to pay and you know i basically have you know i'm really low on funds in my savings so you know pretty much point being you know i'm going broke if you will and so the reason why i'm doing this lesson though is is because it just goes to show you the power of the Lord. So today, after I got home, did my little spiritual routine uh, for, for the Sabbath, you know, because it's the Sabbath today. So I did my uh, after I did my Sabbath service, um, I got that message from the job, you know, the brother's job. He uh, finally messaged me, you know, and told me that they'll give me a call for an interview. So, you know, I, I just want to thank you. How about me? I was shy, man. And, and the point of this message is, you know, yesterday before this happened i was on my way back home and i was just thinking to myself i'm like dang you know like uh, i I really got too much money like that and i need to pay my bills and stuff like that so um i was just like hey it is so crazy because the flesh was about to panic the flesh was about to panic but i it's like the lord put the spirit on me and i just stopped myself right there i just nipped it right in the bud right there and i just like you know, the Lord gave me the spirit to rule over my spirit. And I was just like, and I just literally faced the east and I just prayed to the Lord. I just, I literally just asked the Lord just to help me, you know, like, Lord, just help me with everything. That's what I said, you know. And now today, you know, I get the message the next day after I get the message about the new job. So point being, man, this is just a testimony just to hold your faith, man. And especially in these times that we're coming into, it's going to look like the odds are stacked against you. It's going to look like your back is against the wall. But just know that Yahweh Basham Al Shai is constantly in control. Okay? And now I want to get these couple of precepts right here. This is Sirach or Ecclesiastes 11 and verse 14. It says, Prosperity. Actually, let me start at verse um, 11. Sirach and 11, 11. It says, There is one that laboreth and taketh pains and maketh haste and is so much the more behind. Again, there is another that is slow and hath need of help. Wanting ability and full of poverty, yet the eye of the Lord looked upon him for good and set him up from his low estate and lifted up his head from misery so that many saw from his from him and lifted up his head from misery so that many saw from him his peace over all the prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. So the Lord can make you rich easily man or he can give you poverty easily okay that's why you know you have to just trust in the lord man okay even when the, the chips are stacked up against you and everything looks like you know your back is against the wall trust in the lord because the lord will take care of you man all right matter of fact let me get this scripture real quick this is psalms 55 and 22 Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Okay? Right. So cast your burden upon the Lord. If you got a problem, pray to the Lord, man. Okay? And this all and it takes faith. The scriptures say, Let him ask in faith, not wavering, for he that wavereth, you know, let, let no man think he shall receive anything of the Lord. You know, if you waver, if you doubt, man, you can't doubt. You have to just trust in the Lord, man. Even if it looks like the Lord is not dealing with you, man, still trust in the Lord. This is a Sirach or Ecclesiastes 11 and 20. Be steadfast in thy covenant and be conversant therein and wax old in thy work. And that's how we are to be in this truth. Verse 21. Marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord and abide in thy labor. For it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on the sudden to make a poor man rich. The blessing of the Lord is the reward of the godly. And suddenly he maketh his blessing, uh, it's like, and suddenly he maketh his blessing flourish. Okay, so that's the point. You know, that's pretty self-explanatory, man. Okay, and I got this, um, I got like a couple more precepts, Lord willing, I'll close out with them, if the most high allows. 
If y'all bash my shy, spirit permits. It's Proverbs 22 and verse 2. It says, The rich and poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. So the Lord, He makes a person rich, He makes a person poor. All right? So you have to just trust in that, that the Lord will take care of you. All right? 1 Samuel chapter 2, starting at verse 6, it says, The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. All right? So it's an easy thing for the Lord to bring you out of your poverty, man. And really, I'm just, you know, doing this testimony, not because I'm looking for vain glory, but because I want to boost the faith of the body of the elect. You know, and exhort the elect to trust in the Lord, man, because even outside of money, you know, outside of, you know, uh, shekels, if you will, the Lord can still, you know, set you up and make you rich spiritually, you know, or even in a time of trouble. OK, the scriptures say in Psalms, I believe it's the 10th chapter. This is Psalms. Or it's like it's Psalms 46. And one, it says to the chief musician for the sons of Korah, a song upon Alamoth, Yahweh Bashim al is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. OK, therefore, we will we will not we fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Selah. OK, so hey, the Lord, OK. He still will look after us, man. Even though things look like it's not going our way, the Lord's still going to look after us, man. Okay, I believe that's also in Isaiah, Isaiah 54. And um, verse 9, it says, for this, is as the, for this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I would not be wroth with thee, nor rebuke thee. For the mountains shall depart, and the hills shall and the hills be removed. But my kindness shall not depart from thee. Neither shall the covenant shall the covenant of my peace be removed, save the Lord that have mercy on thee. Okay, right, all right. O thou afflicted, tossed with tempests, and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors, and lay thy foundations with sapphires, and I will make thy windows of agates and thy gates of carbuncles and all thy borders of pleasant stones. Yeah, man, the Lord is getting ready to glorify us. Here it is. We're in the land of our captivity, the lowest of society. You know, where where the uh, we, we are the most base people in the social class, if you will. All right. You know, Jake is at the bottom of the of the of the social pyramid. OK, but. The Lord is getting ready to do what? It says, O thou, afflict, thou afflicted and tossed with tempest and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors and lay thy foundations with sapphires. A sapphire is a precious stone. The Lord is getting ready to lay the foundations of our kingdoms with precious stones, man. He's about to make us, you know, uh, rich spiritually and physically, man. Okay? We're, got, we're about to go from slave ships to spaceships, man. And this all comes from the mercy of the Lord, first and foremost, and trusting in Yahweh Bashmel Shai and believing in his word, you know, because he will bring this to pass, man. So going back to 1 Samuel chapter 2, in verse 6, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. That's the point. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich, man. He'll bring you low, but he'll also raise you up too. He raises up the poor out of the dust. And lifted up the beggar from the dung hill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them. Yeah, just like the rich man and Lazarus. Lazarus was at the rich man's gate begging for crumbs. But next thing you know, the rich man was in hell, you know, meaning he was in a low estate. He was in a place of torment. OK, not talking about hell with the pitchfork with Satan's there. OK, and Lazarus was, uh, you know, in rulership, so to speak. Lazarus was brought up from that lower state, man. And that's getting ready what the Lord is pretty much getting ready to do, man. He's getting ready to put Esau on that lower state. And he's getting ready to put Jacob, Israel, on that high estate, man. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. Roughly paraphrasing. So, hey, you know, moral of the story, trust in the Lord, you know, and have faith, man. OK, because it is an easy thing for the Lord to make a poor man rich. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great Muslim, and well, peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and Ababa Ball.